Aloha, my name is Stephanie Sachs. I'm a working artist on Maui, and I'm gonna teach you how to do some simple techniques to make you a watercolor painter. Today, we're gonna to work exclusively in watercolor, and I'm gonna show you some easy tips. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the supplies. First thing I'd like to talk about is tubes of watercolor paint. I like the tubes much better than I like the half pans or the pans because they're softer coming out and I tend to work wet on wet with puddles of color. The second thing I'd like to talk about is paper. This is one of the most important things not to skimp on when you're buying paints and supplies for watercolor. I either prefer a pad of watercolor paper that's already pressed together so you don't have to worry about buckling. This is 140 pound watercolor paper or my personal preference is 300 pound sheets of watercolor paper. We're gonna learn how to take care of this. It's a much heavier weight watercolor paper that will allow you to work in watercolor for an extended period of time without any chance of buckling. Other supplies include brushes. On the supply list, I went for inexpensive brushes that still really hold together. I've cheapened out on the wash brushes and went for the Hake watercolor brush. I think these are less expensive than your regular wash brush and it'll be a good value, especially when you start. Other supplies that are important are the palettes. I don't buy expensive palettes, but I look for ones with individual boxes to put the color and then also larger pans to make puddles of paint. Make sure you have just an, a bowl. Sometimes I like to have a bowl and a cup so I can always make sure I have clean water. You need a straight edge or a ruler. You need a hair dryer, just your basic hair dryer. And you also need paper towels. Last but not least, you need to get a kneaded eraser. Kneaded erasers are different from other erasers. And what's nice about them is they don't rip apart the paper as you erase. I really have tried to create an easy, simple supply list for you. Let's get started on painting.